Google searching is going to find a lot, but not all of that is information you'd want to include in a college-level research paper or project. But that's no reason to give up on Google. Google has an advanced search option that's both easy to use and will really improve the quality of what you find. Of course, finding the Google advanced search is actually harder than using it. Look at the bottom of the screen where it says Settings. Then go to Advanced Search. Not exactly easy to find, is it? This looks a little scary, but you probably know how to use most of these search options already. The first four boxes are all about how you want to combine, include, or exclude search terms, just like when you're searching article databases. All these words means that you want Google to search for all of these words. Kind of obvious. In databases, I had you using AND to combine these terms. But this is what Google does automatically, so you don't have to add the AND. The exact phrase is very handy when searching, as Google can be too helpful sometimes by finding all the words you're searching for. But sometimes they're in no way related to what you need. Forcing Google to search for just what you want by using this box. This works with just one word as well. Sometimes Google searches on what it thinks are related terms, but might not actually be. Putting one word in quotes forces Google to look for just that word, exactly how you typed it. Any of these words is an OR search. Great for synonyms, though as I just mentioned, Google's pretty good about finding word variations all on its own. None of these words is a NOT search. You're excluding something. As always, use the exclusion search with great caution as it tends to get rid of stuff you may actually want. You do have the option to have a number range, though I don't use it, I can see that it might be handy in some cases. Alright, so let's do an example search. We're just going to focus on the top. I want to find more information about the concept of moral distress in nurses, specifically those that work in an ICU or critical care setting. So in all the words, I want nurses. In exact phrase, I want moral distress. And any of these words, again, these are synonyms, so terms that are similar. In this case, I'm going to put ICU and critical. I'm not going to exclude anything. I'm not going to use any numbers. Then I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and do advanced search. Okay, so this 36,000, that's a lot, but it's a lot better than the normal millions of results you typically get in a Google search. And here are the Google Scholar results. If you're looking for just articles, very nice. And if you look up here in the search box, you can see how Google's advanced search translated your search. So you have nurses, you have ICU or critical, and then you have moral distress in a phrase. All right, now let's go back and look at the next level of advanced features. You can narrow your results even further by using these options. I don't make use of language and region limiters much, as most of what we find here in the US is going to be in English, and the region search feels a little too limiting to me. But feel free to play with either of these if you think they will help out in your search. I do use the last update generally when I want information that's really recent. So you have the option for any time, past 24 hours, week, month, and year. Generally, I'm using the month and the past year. To be honest, I use this when looking for technology reviews, not as much for library research. So if I am looking for reviews on helping me select a new smartphone, there's about one trillion iPhone and Android reviews, but I really only want the ones written in pretty much the last month because of how often they update. Not super relevant to library research, but there you go. What I use the most in this bottom section is the site or domain limiter. This is magical if you are searching for something in a really big website that might have a lousy internal search tool. A great example of this is the CDC. That website is beyond huge and searching it makes me want to cry. So I just enter what I'm looking for up here. I'm gonna clear this out. And let's say I'm gonna look for statistics related to oral health. So I want statistics and I want oral health as a phrase and I want this to be just the CDC's website. So I come down to the site or domain and I type in cdc.gov and then search. Ta-da! These are only from the CDC's website and there's still almost 2,000 pages so that's saying something about how big CDC's website is. And again if you want to look up to see how it was translated we have our statistics, we have oral health as a phrase, and then you have the site with a colon in cdc.gov. I'm going to go back 
And the other way you can use this site or domain is to search on a particular type of website instead of a specific website. So let's say we want to look at all government websites, not just the CDC. I'll get rid of the CDC and just keep the .gov keep the same search and you can see we do have some CDC pages but we also have other government pages. Okay and you can see again the site is a .gov not cdc.gov. Now once you know what these searches look like you don't even have to go to the advanced page. You can just type this out if you want. Um, I will just alter this and make this go to a .org site. Okay so we have some of the uh, dental hygienist organizations, other the ADA websites, things like that. But wait there's more. There's always more. Let's go back to the advanced search screen. Another lovely feature is this terms appearing search. You have a lot of options, but I tend to use in the title of the page the most. I'm going to change my search again. This time I'm going to look for information about how to improve nursing student retention. So I'm going to use student retention, clear out statistics, and I'm going to use some variations. So I'll do nurse, nursing, nurse, and nurse. Again, Google is pretty good about finding all the word variations, but I just want to be thorough in this particular search. So I'm going to get rid of the .gov, and I'm only going to focus on the title of the page. So I'm asking Google to search for where all of these words, in this case, any of these ones, appear in the title. So let's see what we find. A lot of these are going to be articles and that's fine. It's just another way to go about finding information. And when you look at in the title, it's going to be really specific and should hopefully be pretty close to what you're looking for. And I'm going to talk about this more in the video on gray literature, but great information isn't limited to just articles and books. You can also find stuff in government and organizational reports, conference proceedings, dissertations, and other sources that might not be searchable in traditional databases. One of the best ways to find this kind of information is to limit by file type, and especially using either PDFs or PowerPoints. I'm going to turn, change my search one more time. Say I'm going to find information on health literacy in the Hispanic population. So again, I will do Hispanic or Latino. I don't want to limit to the title of the page. I'm going to say anywhere. I do want it PDF, and let's say I do want it at a .gov site. Again, let's see what we find. Okay, so these are all excellent. It's really just exactly what I was looking for. I can go up to the search box and change this to a .org and search again. Again, this is great information that you're not going to find in a traditional database. And using the PDF limiter is going to help you find things that are more report-ish. To sum up, Google Advanced is awesome. It can help you turn an iffy Google search into a sophisticated search which can help you find great information. Use it to build a search with exact phrases and synonyms and then limit to either a particular website or types of websites and you can limit to file types. So great! Happy searching!